Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a tribe become visible on your Windows 11 computer. So what I mean by visible is if you've brought a new SSD drive, hard drive, any sort of drive and you've plugged it into your computer and it's not showing on Windows Explorer. So as you can see there, I've got five drives and I've just inserted another drive into my computer and it's not showing. So that's what I mean by a drive not being visible. So let's take a look at what you can do to make that hard drive display. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is open up a utility that's built into Windows called Disk Management. Now you can do this easily by opening up the Start menu, typing in Disk and then Management. You will then see an option that says Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. Now you're going to want to go ahead and open this. Once it's open, it should hopefully detect that you've put a new drive into your computer. So as you can see there, I've got a window that's basically letting me know. Now before we go any further, I just want to quickly tell you about a program that I've developed and been working very hard on called Easy System Utility. Now this program allows you to do all sorts of things within Windows, such as clear old temporary files and things like that. And there's also an option for doing the same for software, which I'm always updating and adding more programs to. It's also got other features under folders and files where you can unlock folders, files, add watermarks to images and things like that. And then you've also got a launch option where you can easily and quickly launch files, folders and programs from your system tray. And it's also got other little utilities built within the program as well. Now, if you want to check that out, click on the link that's in the description below. So moving back to disk management. So as you can see now, we've got two different partition styles to select from. So at the moment, it's got GPT selected. So below you will see a little note that says the GPT partition style is not recognized by all versions of Windows. Now the MBR option is. So it's up to you what version you use. So for myself in this video, I am going to be going with the GPT option, not the MBR. Now also it's worth taking into consideration if the drive that you've put into your computer is larger than two terabytes, then you will also want to go for the GPT option. And also if you want to create quite a few partitions on the drive, then again, you want to go the GPT partition style. So once you've selected an option, go ahead and click on OK. Now you might think that's it, but that's not it yet. Now what we need to do is scroll down until you come across disk free. So as you can see there, it says unallocated, which means if I open up File Explorer, you will see there if I press F5, the drive is still not detected within File Explorer. So what we need to do, so if that window didn't pop up for you, that's fine. You should be able to see a disk within this list that says unallocated. We now need to allocate this, so we need to right click and we need to go new simple volume. You then need to go next and you need to type in the size of the partition that you want to create. So I want it to be the absolute size of the drive, which is four terabyte. In fact, it's going to be slightly less than that, but it's going to be about four terabyte. So what I want to do now is click on next. You now need to assign it a drive letter. Now you have many different options to choose from. You can choose whatever letter you want. Obviously not choosing a letter that's already taken, but that won't display in the list anyway. So I'm gonna go with letter H and then go next. You now need to select format because this is a new drive then we just wanna format the drive anyway. However, if the drive has already been used before and you have data on it, then you wouldn't want to format it but you do want to obviously look into recovering that data. So let's go ahead and keep format selected. File system, you want to go NTFS. Um, this option here, allocation unit size, just keep that on default. Volume label, you can call this whatever you want. This is going to be the name of the hard drive. So for example, I could call it computer sluggish. And then the next thing that we want to do is keep perform a quick format selected, just so it's a lot faster. You then need to go next and finish. So straight away, you can see that the drive has been formatted, disk free there. It says compute sluggish and it's allocated to H. If I open up File Explorer and on the right hand side here now, you can see my H drive and it's got 3.6 terabytes of space. 
if I open that drive up, I can now begin to create things and use the drive. So it really is that easy to add a drive to Windows 11 when you have a new one and it's not obviously being detected. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, click the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish videos.